Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to me, Cornish Knight, on my channel. Now, I didn't, because of certain series ending and certain events happening, I didn't have a, no, we don't have any mountain blade to basically fill in, so what I'm going to do is I've base, I've brought back a, a title from when I first started um, Let's Playing, which is Downwell, which is a game I love very, very much. It's a descending platformer with roguelike elements, it's a really good game. I'm putting it back up on the channel just for the moment until I get some new stuff sort of sorted out and we get the schedule back intact. And um, let me know what you think. If you like it, I'll put some more up if you want a character named after you in the game. It's a very pleasant game. It's very challenging, very hard. Personally, I find it... Uh, I've played this and I've played The Binding of Isaac and I find this game is a lot harder than The Binding of Isaac and you're about to see why. We get different color tones, it's all it's a very nice game. The developers um worked really hard on it. Um then they're a really good studio. Let's go, shall we? We choose we can choose one of four styles. We can choose the standard style, we can choose the arm spinning style, which means you only pick up like weapon mods but you don't get any like but um shops which you can buy like health increase or other items are extremely rare. Boulder style which we start with a lot more HP but less upgrade options. We float, which is a nice one, or no upgrades, cheaper sop items. Let's go with the only finds weapon mods. I actually find this to be a really good style and it's just enjoyable to play. I apologize if anyone has good topic sensitivity or anything like that. If they are, I, will, I can always change the color tonage to something that's a bit more pleasant. So this is basically how the game works. You're descending down a labyrinthine, labyrinthine well system, looking to try and get to the bottom, Ah, oh, we lost health, that was bad. I haven't played in a while in this game, so I apologise if I'm rusty. The enemies will pursue you. There is a um, combo system. I'm not fantastic at the combo system in this game, I will admit. I'm very... Uh, I'm, I'm not bad at this game. I can t get to, like, the third, fourth level. Punch, right, we pick this up. Basically, in the game, you get two types of items. You get um, weapon mods, so you get health upgrades, which, as you can see in the top left-hand corner, you have your health bar, and then you have like a, a four section, a quadrant section below it, which if you fill that up, you get an increased health pack, basically. It's like health upgrade. You also get um, power. That's basically your power bar on this side here that you can see decreasing every time we fire a weapon. And that can be upgraded as well. Different weapons require different power out, uh, well, power usages. We collect gems, and there's a, a lot more to this game than that. I'm just basically glossing over it for now. See, this is like a health up upgrade. So we pick it up, and you can see it increases our um, stockpile of potential health. But it will require us getting three more to get a full upgrade. You need to basically, each one is like a quadrant. We got overcharged gem high, which means all our weapons will do more damage as long as we pick up more gems. Oh, I missed that guy, he's gonna be a pain, but oh well, we'll jump down to the next level. Each like floor has different um, sections in it, and the enemies increase in difficulty, and it's a really good game. I like it a lot. Let's see, that's not really useful to us because shops are super rare. Um, one thing I will say about shops in this game is that the deeper you get into the game, the more expensive items in the shop become. So for a lot of classes, getting that early on is good. Blocks will always shoot up bullets when destroyed. That one's a good one. Don't particularly like hot casing, but gunpowder blocks is a nice little block to get. Or a nice little upgrade to get. And we're on to the next level of cannons. You don't have to kill anything, everything in, in the, um, the floor. There's no necessary need for it. It's really quite a hectic game, I will I will not lie. What's this machine gun? As the name suggests. Uh, I was trying to be clever. Tortoises don't take damage unless you fall on top of them. Bats are really... To be honest, I find the bats are like some of the nastiest... Oh, eyeball, eyeball. I hate eyeballs. Sorry. Um, eyeballs are just horrible things to fight in this game. But to be honest, the thing I hate the most in this game, and I have for the longest time, is the bats. They are horrible. They hunt you ruthlessly. Oh, that was a lucky escape. 
Oh dear, eyeballs. It's very easy to get um, complacent in this game, like I've just done. Escape. Escape. Quickly. Before the frogs and the bats eat us. Gem power. Get gems recharge your gun boots. Longer state of invincibility when taking damage. Stomping on enemies causes a blast. That's not a bad one. Um, gem power is nice because it's really good in some combinations. So let's just keep plugging on. There are all different kinds of um, color palettes and stuff we can change. You also unlock new color palettes when you um, complete floors, and all you basically level up in this game. There's no, um, but you don't get anything. You get some new classes that I've already unlocked, but most of the time you just unlock new color palettes. It's just a very pleasant little game. I really love it. It's hard. It rewards skill. It re well, basically you can play it two two ways. You can play it skillfully. You can play it. Um, oh well, I suppose I suppose that would also count as skillfully as well. Um, there's a challenge called um, I think don't touch the floor, which requires you to uh, get. Sorry, I apologise to get through um, a level without ever touching, without, without ever landing, basically, which is a very hard one to do. Trust me. Um, you do get combos and stuff which require you landing on multiple enemies without ever um, touching the floors. As you can see I'm taking loads of stupid damage. See I just got a 5 combo there. It gets easier with certain... Um, with certain pickups and the like. That's power, but that is a punch one which is nice. Which basically gives us a, um, a clustered attack which is always very pleasant. So we'll pick that up. We've cleared level. F we're on to level two, which is the dungeons, which is always nice. Rest in pieces. Shooting dead bodies causes them to explode. Jetpack. Popping gems. Getting gems causes bullets to shoot upwards. That's always nice. That combined with the break with the breaking block one is really powerful. Now everything changes in this game, as you can see. Um, oh, forgotten about the ghost. I hate the ghost. The ghosts in this game are absolutely ab abysmal. Because they can, as you can see, they can travel through terrain. Um, each floor has basically, I wouldn't say a gimmick, but they have a particular. Um, oh, I thought I'd timed that better. They have a particular um, trait about them. For example, the dungeon will have lots and lots of traps, which is never very pleasant. They also have a lot of enemies. Ah, oh, curses! Well, I died. Let's see. Not too bad. Um, we can select a different style if we wanted to. Um, we could go with, say, the bolder style. So if the bolder one is very good if you want to speed run, in my experience. Let's put on a different palette tone for a second, shall we? What do you people like to have? What do you think would be? Lavender, perhaps? No. Forest. Winter. Antique. Dirt storm. Jungle. Sleepy. Zenyan, Zenyan, uh, Downwell. That's the that's that's classic Downwell. Let's see. I like pastel myself. Let's go. And that changes the whole like color palette of the game. It is a very lovely game. I like it a lot. We can actually speed run in this if we want to. I'm a bit rusty. But we can basically speed run if you want to. It's a lot easier with um, this particular one to do. The only downside with speed running is that you don't get a lot of gems. This is a room that basically has like a massive stockpile of gems. We'll get a gem over high, and we can just plow through. There is a lot of tactics involved in this game if you want to speed run. In my experience, I'm not really the speed running type. But it's a good way if you want to like clear out floors quickly. Um, the downside of having the guy with a lot of health is that you do get a, um, one less mod upgrade, which can be counterbalanced with other mods. But overall, it can be rather unpleasant. The enemies change from like 
floor to floor as you saw in the previous one we had frogs we had um well in the dungeon we had bats we had ghosts we had uh now you can see why i really hate the bats they really really fool you uh, i'm a bit rusty unfortunately here's the shop let's see can we buy anything Heals one XP, HP I should say one, why not? And we'll just keep pressing on. I do like this game a lot, I'm just basically bringing it out to see if people would like me to do some more of it. Oh. Yep, okay, I'm not, that's my mistake, I'm, I'm so rusty at this game, it's unbelievable, I haven't played it in so long. But I do love it a lot. Let's make enemies explode when we stamp on them. absolutely destroyed. It's because I haven't played this game in so hard, long and it has quite a high um, skill requirement for you to actually do well. I know it doesn't look like it but it really, trust me, it really does. As you can see. Hmm. Ah well. You can always return to the surface. Woohoo! And we can dive down again. I do love this game, I, I, I know I'm repeating myself saying it, let's try the floating one. But um, if you guys like it, I shall put a bit more stuff up on it again. Um, I am still going to be putting st up um, Mountain Blade on Monday. So that's going to be happening. Um, I'm still tr I'm, I'm trying to get a nice schedule where I don't, because of how my internet works, I don't know if you guys know this, but my internet's not particularly fantastic when it comes to uploading videos. And as such, um, I'm limited to about two videos a day, give or take the size of the video in question. If it gets over about a gigabyte, I tend to have um, issues loading it within a proper time scale. So, but that's one of the problems of living in in a remote place like I do. So, it's just how it goes. Um, so, I t that's one of the reasons I don't tend to upload a lot of um, like high graphically intensive games, for example like um, Warhammer Total War or any of the Total War series because they take, they have quite large, uh, sorry, they have quite large um, file sizes even after compactation um, so you require them to basically, it takes quite a long time so I tend to stick to a lot of indie titles, not that I mind, I like indie titles a lot, we gain 4 XP, let's pick up that one and we should keep going. I like this game, I really do. Um, why would I say this game is harder than um, The Binding of Isaac? Um, I think the reason... Ooh, that's not good. The reason being I think this game is harder than The Binding of Isaac. Don't get me wrong, I've played both games, and both games are like really hard. Um, Isaac is just a savagely unforgiving game. Um, the reason that I'd say this game is a lot less, um, uh, not say a lot less, but a, m a lot more unforgiving than The Binding of Isaac, is that um, it's really easy to get into a death spiral in this game if you're not careful. There are um, there are loads and loads of ways that you can mess up and basically get yourselves killed. It also requires a lot more um, reflex-based gameplay, I think, than. Than the Binding of Isaac, because in Isaac, from my experience playing playing the series, you can dodge a lot of things. It's, it's hard to explain. They're very different games, but I find this one is a lot more. This one has a lot more combination of reflexes plus ability, while in the Binding of Isaac, it has a very high. Both games have a very high um, skill uh, skill ceiling, I suppose you could say. Um, I find this one has a slightly higher requirement for reflex based gaming um, from the get go. I know for a fact that from playing Isaac that later on in the game the game requires you to have a high, high amount of reflex but this has a higher amount of reflex right off the bat. The enemies 
are very quick to react. You, your controls are very, uh, your controls are very um, sensitive. So one wrong sort of maneuver, and you're basically paying for it very, very quickly. Um, like that. See, I, I just, I just slightly mistimed um, a jump, and it cost me very, very nearly a lot of my health. I don't know. I mean. Knife and fork consume some dead bodies to gain health, create time void when damaged, more upgrade choice and gain some XP. Let's do that. Um, I don't know. I think both games are great. For the rogue genre, both games are. Uh, I sort of stopped shooting and jumped there. Both games are, um, I would say, sort of iconic games of the franchise. Um, the Binding of Isaac is obviously a lot more well known than Downwell. Um, it, but I don't know. I've played both games. I've played The Binding of Isaac and I've played this, and I don't know. It. Uh, I just find this game a lot harder. I do. I really do. So let's keep pushing. Now this is a, a lovely little game, you can find it on Steam, I'll put it in the links below where you can purchase it. It's well worth the look up, lots of replayability, and it's just a nice way to basically burn through time I find. It's one of those games you can play and just almost go zen, you sort of just, just forget about stuff, it's a really nice game. Come on. Come on. Oh. Let's see if we can get anything in the shop. Health upgrade. There we go. And we filled up a health bar so we got to the next level. Ah, oh, sort of reacted quicker. My own fault. Let's see. What can we get? Balloon. Candle. The balloon basically is like a mine that trails after you. Popping gems. Candy. Membership card, that's always nice. Are we into the catacombs? Yeah, we are. Let's see what we can get. As you can see, stuff iridium decreases by about 15%. I hate. You can see um, the floors vary. I, this is what I like about the game, it's just everything changes. The, all the enemies change, like the tactics you require for the floors change. It requires you to really be on your A game. I love this game a lot. We've got to keep going until I die and then we'll probably stop the video. So we're going to grab these gems here. Get ourselves a nice gem high. Ooh, got a combo. Hard little game this. Oh, I should have should have waited. There's a lot of strategy. You need to remember all the strategies that you have for different floors. So let's keep going. Come on. I hate those ghosts. Let's see if we can find the weapons upgrade that will heal us. What's this? Shotgun. Not a bad one. Useful for some of the enemies that you get on this floor. Let's keep going. Whew. Tough game. No, I... Ah, oh, I shouldn't have taken that damage. Stupid, stupid damage. But still, we managed to get through. I mean, we've lost a lot of health, unfortunately. So, let's see. Candle... Popping gems, maybe. The drone is really good, but you require a weapon that has a lot of um, rate, a high rate of fire for the drone to be useful because it fires as many shots as you fire. Energy drink, let's try that. Increases our amount of 
energy where we have slightly. That was a shame. Didn't want to take that stupid damage. Let's try and stay focused. Whew. Ooh, shop. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Probably give us a gem high. And a nice amount of bullets. Ah, curses. What's the traps? Let's keep moving. Ooh. Oh, we anchored the skull. Ah, those skulls, the big ones, are really nasty. As soon as you anger them, they come after you. But we unlocked a new pallet. Rentum. Renum? Renum? Let's see what that colour is, shall we? Pallet, pallet, pallet. Let's see, pallet. Ugh, not a fan of it. But hey ho. I've been Cornish Knight. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. If you would like to see more of um, Downwell, just leave it in the comment section below. And I will get around to putting some more of this stuff up. I do love this game a lot. Um, it is a really, really nice game. I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.